Hey guys, welcome to Top Channel 101, and today we're going to be looking at GeoGen, a landscapes, terrain, and planet generator all in real time. It's like Gia, uh, if you know what Gia is, it's, uh, it's also, I think it's free. There is uh, a free version for Gia, it, oh, it's also a node based uh, generator. I think I did a video about it. We'll see how good it is compared to this. But uh, yeah, today we're just talking about GeoGen and uh, just. Look at what it does. Uh, they have released a trailer, and uh, in the trailer, they show off the different landscapes you can make. Uh, by the way, you can also get GeoGen for free. Uh, if you click on the link here on the bottom, you get uh, uh, the you go to the download page where you can download it. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's a geometry, it's a node-based system. So if you are familiar with geometry nodes, this is going to be very very easy for you uh, to make landscapes and. Uh, terrains and uh, yeah you can also use this to create rivers and lakes just look at that uh, that level of detail uh, it looks really really amazing so let's jump into geogen just to show you uh, the workflow when you create a new project this is what you get uh, looks like this and uh, like i said it's a node based system uh, so you can look at these nodes uh, it can also be used to create planets there are two different types of nodes are uh, there are uh, terrain nodes or landscape nodes and they're also planet nodes. So if I add in a planet node, let's see, I can just search for planet. And uh, the terrain nodes or landscape nodes have this mountain or triangular icon and the planet nodes have a circular icon. So let's say a uh, planet warp noise, if we get that, you can see it has a circular node, uh, but uh, the renderer, if you disable this, I just dragging this, control dragging this out uh, you can see the noise here it's not being displaced we're just getting the color from all this and it's being applied to the color so if i get this planet noise and uh, connect it to this oh it's not working uh, okay let me just preview this directly you can see we have a warp thing uh let's see so it's not working because uh we have these uh landscape nodes going into it so they have converted this into uh a terrain or, or landscape render so we need to find a, a new render uh, that will support uh, the the planet and landscape option so i can just connect this uh, you can see that the nodes only work for specific inputs so this we will need to find a corresponding input that works with it or we need to find a way to convert this let me find a noise that would work for a planet planet noise uh, i think that would work i uh, can see the color matches with the height input so i can connect that and I'm just going to click on, uh, let me first close out of this uh, so that I can just preview. So currently we are rendering this. Uh, so let me first remove that so that we are looking at this. Now you can see the, our planet. Yeah, it works for different options or it can be a planet or it can be, uh, this has to go into the color instead. And uh, if you want something for the height, you would need uh, an output that matches that so this height map can go uh, there and uh, we are back to where we were yeah it's very very simple to use and uh, yeah just have to layer different effects on top of each other uh, so let's add some filters like water i can add this between the height map and uh, there and now you see we have some filter for the water so that's the Eugene. It's still in its alpha stage. You can see you have height maps and there is also options to import in your own models and add your own detail to them. They have some nice textures, but yeah, it's not the only game in town. There's also Gia. So if you are looking for options, you now have multiple options for generating uh, terrain and uh, Jenga FX does a lot of things. They are not just creating GeoGen. They're also the guys behind Embergen, Liquigen, and other applications. So if you want to check them, them out, I'm going to be leaving links in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.